My name is John Cates, and uh, I would be making eye contact with you right now if I weren't configuring this real quickly. We're doing uh, this switching, physically switching this cable around. Uh, that's that's something that we're we're very familiar with uh, back where at least where where I'm from and where some of the other panelists are from in Chicago. Uh, we call that the hard switch or the hard swap. So that's a move. It's like a, it's like a technique. You know, it's like when you pull this out, and you hear the little pop. Or when you pull this out, and it goes blue. It's called a hard swap, or the hard switch. I'm just gonna drop some vocab like that. There you go. This is uh, this is the first vocab that I'm dropping, but it's definitely not the last. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of vocab. Okay, so uh, here we are in this panel. I also want to second the emotion of thanking everyone who made this possible. And uh, I personally work on a project, uh, on multiple projects, uh, multiple overlapping, interdependent, interrelated, um, parallel uh, projects. And this one, the one that I'm going to talk about today, is one GL1TCH.US. It's an unstable book for an unstable art. So, let's get started. <clears throat> also, let's see, make sure that my internet connection audio is functional. Everything online. Smoothly. So, rather than uh, moments or movements or momentums, I'm going to talk about some continuums. And the kind of continuum that I'm going to talk about is a continuum that uh, stretches back and forth and Mobius strips in between a number of ideas, ideas which we can label, uh, you know, temporary labels or uh, what we better know now as tags or hashtags. Actually, it's, it's a good point. Um, so I'm going to hashtag out some ideas here. I'm going to hashtag out pre dash GLI. Uh, yeah. Let's see. H pre pitch, and then I'm going to hashtag out GL1 TC pitch, uh, and then I'm going to hashtag out post POST dash GLI TC pitch. Uh, also, those are the names of some tumblers, um, pre dash pitch dot tumbler, uh, and also post dash pitch uh, dot tumbler. Uh, those two tumblers are there, uh, split between the screen at uh, GL1 TCH dot US, which is my unstable book for unstable part. So, uh, I know that South by Southwest likes hashtags, and I know that South by Southwest likes tumblers. Uh, that's something that's happened in 2012, and since this panel is called 2012, we have the GLI.tc slash page. I thought it would be nice to have some tumblers, so I made you some tumblers. So, I'm interested in these glitch moments along with the continuums that inform, that inform, uh, that enable glitch perspectives, such as the online, so, as I said, uh, pre-1-post. So there are examples of pre glitch projects. Uh, these examples of pre projects that uh, myself and also John Satchel and others have been involved in working on in Chicago uh, at various times over the years. Multiple collaborators, but within the uh, within this frame, within this iframe, you'll see that there is a kind of focus on noise, error, and corruption, and decay that can be traced back in reverse via this in framing, via the iframe of technological specificities that come from, let's say, film specific traces, video specific traces, and or computer specific traces. So each one of these technologies have their own traces, and you can trace back through those traces to try to understand. And those materials. For instance, in film, you might have a film specific trace 
such as blank or green or thicker or dirt or dust. You might have a loose date, or you might have hair in the gate or in the projector. You might also ultimately get the film stuck in the projector and it might catch fire and burn and melt. Those are very glitch specific, but film specific, um, pre glitch styles of uh, events that we should expect. The video has them as well. It wants, uh, labor the points, the computer stuff as well. I won't be labor the point because of time. But I will tell you that uh, you'll see a lot of these um, video specific, especially uh, video specific styles that translate into uh, the uh, into computer specific styles by uses for instance by max capacity and using animated GIFs to grab moments and do adjust tapes or certain video specific uh, glitch aesthetics um, get codified now as also new media, which makes it problematic to call it new, so it's pre-dated by its new address. Um, so that's just on a technical level, and it's not just technical or chronological, it's also conceptual. Um, because, as um, Satcom indicated, we might see these aesthetics, concepts, and techniques as interrelated. We might see them as a kind of continuum in and of themselves. And so we might want to travel uh, across and through them. Uh, and when we do that, we find ourselves in a set of hyper-threaded media of our histories, um, as I said, that are connected to, uh, for instance, uh, earlier our movements, and in these movements we actually have people who are unafraid to use the word movement, uh, which uh, a word that we would now find, for the most part, probably unfashionable, and we might resist the use of this term movement because we might uh, err on the side, error on the side, perhaps even, uh, of tending away from the idea that something was um, all-inclusive of the movement was. However, there were movements that called themselves such, and they were, for instance, got off fluxes, praxes, and of course, many of them included these uh, pre glitch styles that I'm talking about. A few notes also on Also, Noah's Museum is another source of glitch. So there are definitely other sources that in the notes for us. There are several types of glitch usages. Now become known or understood as close to the Terms when we have to follow up on they have a type of pre and post and refer in its most simple form to an implicable placement along more or less linear timeline of linear. This is a historical or chronological linear historical glitch account to refer to such and such form of music in a historical account follows place something glitch music. So there's in the context of influencing pre glitch which what would be current and most of which is called continuum art. An example of this would be this from the moment perspective of perhaps uh, uh, the time the use of this so, term as I said, of uh, linearity uh, in the phrase would also be acquired by Paul Davis and the choreographer of the historical account of previous linear mind time of the phrase. When one during encounters these unstated lines of one often also is a simple occurrence of instability not only of media but dirty uh, in the same uh, multiple uh, field of activity, parallel um, constitutions, even with contradictory histories, parallel in which history is influenced by the history of the history and the history of 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 the history of
usage that. of the appendix may or may not refer they to they not only after, over, but also critical of. Is over, but we reach the end of days of. for dirty new media? Um, and if this so, is then what? And well, a simple um, interpretation are of the use of the term postmodernism as a there, word which denotes a level of criticality in the perspective of the postmodern onto the modern. So in this case, post would be that which is the modern So in this case, in this case, post glitch would be that which looks at which critically and attempts to formulate um, but they are also other positions a branch of an more critical art, of glitch a kind of itself that, focuses that can't on be contained only, uh, so kind of gloominess uh, and gloominess, stably but the fact within the already unstable arts to deal with of and glitch address questions and glitch such as those posed by this panel. Because we humans, we live in a broken world. We live in a technological world which is technological uh, because of our own making, meaning that we have reconfigured this world into a noisy, broken, messy place.